always good, everybody. My name is your boy Jay in the building. We are back again with another video. We have the celebration bowl, man. We are finally here. Y'all see the title of the video? Let's talk about it, man. We have North Carolina Central versus Jackson State. Now, I believe this is going to be a really, really good game. Uh, and we all know this is going to be this is game. This game is uh, bittersweet for Jackson State fans. You know, we all know that uh, this is Coach Prime's last game coaching for Jackson State. And they 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 have been circulating for the past two weeks, both positive and negative. Um, meanwhile, North Carolina Central has been has been under the radar this entire time. You know, uh, even with the spec with the speculation that you know he Coach Prime may take the job when Coach Prime wasn't speaking to the media. You know, even though, like, some people didn't know, or a lot of people didn't want it to happen, a lot of people didn't know, you know, and then during the SWAC championship game, when people thought that, oh, well, he he's going to make his decision after the game, we was all waiting, you know, and if y'all watch the SWAC championship game, the, the energy, it just felt different. The way Coach Prime walked in, it felt different. He like he he didn't even look like he was ready to coach a championship game. And then when y'all saw him after the game, you didn't really see him excited for real. Like you saw like he was trying to get it over with. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of just told the story right there. You know, so I mean, but this game's gonna be interesting. I want to start off with this quarterback battle, man. Uh, Shador Sanders versus Davius Richard. Uh, both guys who are who won offensive player of the year in their respective conferences. And look, I said this about Davis Richard before before the season started that he was going to win Miak offensive player of the year. I was on the money with that, you know, and. The they, uh he was probably, he was the only reason why I had North Carolina Central uh top ten to start to, to start the year. I knew that they had a chance to win the MIAC because of him. I thought that South Carolina State was gonna take it. But Central really surprised me this year. They they played above and beyond, you know, how I thought they would play. But let's stick to uh the the matchup for a little bit. The QB matchup. Davis Richard, Cam Newton like. Now he has stone for over twenty four hundred yards, but th this offense is predicated on the RPO. The him running the ball, and him setting up the pass, you know. And this dude, look, Jackson State is going to have a hard time trying to tackle this man. This dude is a running back disguised as a quarterback. Or he's a quarterback disguised as a running back, however you want to put that. Like, this dude, he he is not easy to take down at all. Like, and he's, like, he's built solid. Like, it, it, it's just hard to get him down. Like, this dude runs like a power back. And it's just going to be a different a different uh, quarterback that Jackson State is going to be facing up against. They have not went up against this style quarterback all year. So, it is going to be interesting for, and I'm looking forward to how Jackson State plays him. And then we have Shador Sanders. You know, the SWAC offers the player of the year. A pocket passer runs runs when he needs to, threw for over three thousand yards, and you know, has over thirty over thirty touchdowns. And this guy is accurate. Really accurate, man, with with his throws. Takes everything given to him, doesn't make mistakes, you know, 
always throws his guys open. And, you know, even though, you know, both quarterbacks are going up against the conference defensive player of the year as well. Uh, you got us, David Richard going up against Albie Miller. And that's going to be interesting because if there's anybody on that team who is going to be able to tackle him one-on-one, it's definitely going to be Albie Miller. He brings that thumper. And I'm going to be real interested to see how how that matchup goes, man. When When they collide, I wonder... <laughs> how hard the the collision is going to be because that's going to be an interesting matchup with, with between those two because we know Richard is going to run the ball and, and especially tomorrow at least ten to fifteen times. Look, he's the second leading rusher on the team. Matter of fact, he's top two in the MIAC in rushing with him and Caller. Him and Caller. Him and Caller. Are two of the of the best run uh runners in the MIAC. and it shows. They uh those two together, they rush for over two hundred yards a game, like like that's on average over two hundred yards rushing a game. So this team is a running team, but he can throw the ball very well. You know um he 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 definitely has some guys that he likes to throw to man, and you know. I do like EJ Hicks, you know, and I do believe that that uh, that Jackson State is going to play the exact same way. I don't see them changing up their style for nobody because they do believe that they have the best secondary in the country, you know. So I'm real interested to see how EJ Hicks and Devin Smith, you know, Andrew Smith, how those guys are going to try and get open, man. So I'm real Excited about that one. And then, you have Khalil Baker. Khalil Baker is not only... He, he not only won MIAC Defensive Player of the Year. He's also a first-team All-American in the FCS. And that's pretty high praise, man, for anybody who's gone, you know, who plays for Central. I don't know when the last time that happened to where a defensive player from Central got first-team All-American. So that's that's that is that that is pretty amazing work. Uh he was his first four or five games, he was on a run of an interception in every game. Like like for the first four or five weeks. So Khalil Baker is definitely a ball hawking corner. And I wonder what uh you know if if he's gonna play Dallas Daniels or if he's gonna play Shane Hooks. I'm real interested to see who he plays up against, you know, but, you know, um, this is going to be a very, 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 very interesting matchup because, look, I know Jackson State plays well no matter the noise speculation, right? But this is interesting because Central has been waiting around and watching, like, I haven't heard Central say anything throughout this entire fiasco that Jackson State was going through. Haven't heard him, haven't heard a peep. And I wasn't even seeing North Carolina Central fans make fun of Jackson State. That's how quiet Central has been. So, I'm real interested to see, you know, how... Jackson State is going to play even with them knowing that Coach Prime is leaving after this game. Uh, And it's definitely going to, it's definitely going to speak volumes about this team. You know, while Jackson State is trying to finish their undefeated season, Central, look, Central is in the top 25 themselves. And they're trying to cap off a pretty good, amazing season themselves. Now, both these teams are 0-1 in the Celebration Bowl. So, one of these teams are going to get their first Celebration Bowl victory. You know, and look, 
this is not going to be easy for Jackson State. Like, this this is going to be far from a cakewalk. Far from a cakewalk. This is going to be a different offense that they're used to seeing. Like, they're not used to their quarterback being, you know, going up against a quarterback that's also a bruiser. Like, he'll, like, he'll run you over. Like, that's how good Davis Richard is. And, you know, his play has elevated each and every year. And with him being a junior, his play has just skyrocketed this year. Skyrocketed. So, I'm real... I'm real happy for you know for the player that that uh, David Richard had had become this year, and he definitely took the Miak by storm. Him in Central, and with I kind of knew it would happen. I just didn't know it was gonna happen like this with them winning, them being nine and two. Now the two games that they lost, one of them teams was against Campbell, and that was a beatdown. And so, they haven't lost since. The, well, they lost to uh, South Carolina State, but that was a that was a really really close game, you know. But and we all saw what uh, Jackson State did to Campbell. So I don't know. I mean, look, that was so long ago, though. That was so long ago. I'm pretty sure Central is not the same team they were when they played Campbell. So. We can't really go based off of that game because each game is different. But I am interested to see, you know, how how Jackson State plays uh, plays against Davis Richards. I'm interested because I, I I think that's I think right there is going to be the story of the game: Central's offense versus Jackson State's defense. You know, Jackson State who gives who don't even who barely gives up. 100 yards rushing per game versus a central team who who uh, gains over 200 yards rushing the game. So I'm real interested to see that. But uh, this, this is going to be interesting, you know. And with Shador leaving, I'm really, I'm really also trying to figure out who else is playing for Jackson State, who is leaving after this year. You know, and with the speculation of Travis Hunter leaving, with Kevin Coleman leaving, with, you know, guys in the transfer portal like Josh Griffs and Katron Evans and, you know, and uh, Mike Police, Mark Pope, you know, those guys. You also have another defensive player on the transfer portal. I forget his name. But there's gonna be this is going to be an interesting game, man. And... I can't wait to see it. I don't want. I don't want to talk their heads off that long, man. But yeah, <sighs> I'm real interested to see this game. Th- this is going to be very, very interesting, and pff, I can't. I just can't wait, man. This is going to be, man. Good luck to both of these teams because this is going to be interesting. <laughs>